What's going on YouTube? Bryce Crispy 94 here bringing you another Pan video. Now this is part two of our desert creatures. Uh, if you did not see part one, go back and watch it. It was pretty good. We did a snake and we did some vultures. Uh, and this one we are going to be doing where to put them right here. Uh, let me bring them up for you. You're probably wondering what you're looking at. Uh, you're still probably wondering what you're even looking at. But uh, I have two or three. No, I have four. You have to just go up to all the numbers before I hit it. I have four uh, Swarm of Scared 3D prints from EC 3D Design. Uh, this is the same um, creator that made the vultures and the snake from the previous uh, Desert Creatures video. Um, so yeah, we have a bunch of these scarabs. Uh, we're going to be doing them in the Albear Brown, like all the other rocks, and then actually coloring the scarabs with a mixture of glitter green and eagle chrome. Um, and then doing the cobalt red wash that I did on rocks for the snake, because uh, that ended up looking really good, and I can't wait to actually apply it to the excuse me rock faces I am building and painting as I do this project. Um, so yeah. Uh, but the main event is this giant scorpion, which I am going to be painting like the Indian red scorpion, which uh, I was going through different scorpions, um, looking them up, and I found this guy. Um, it's Indian red scorpion, uh, so they're kind of tannish beige color on most of them with a darker back, black eyes, hold up, uh, and almost a red stinger that goes into a black actual sting. Stinger? I don't know. I don't know what the ball is actually called on the stinger. Uh, but yeah, so that is the design we're going to go for. And the rock face will be the same rock face that we have been doing. Uh, so I just want to show it off real quick. It's a very cool figure in my opinion. more black on the base. So yeah, uh, so let me just go over the colors here. Uh, I chose the goblin skin, which is actually the color we use for the beak of the vultures, because um, it sort of matches the look I'm going for. Uh, so we're going to just completely cover the entire thing in this goblin skin. And then we're going to take the cobalt red, just because there's a theme here and I kind of want to keep that theme going. Uh, so the most of this will be that cobalt red along with some bleach, probably some dry brushing on here, that area, and probably a tips of the balls. Then finally we're going to take abyssal black and we're going to dry brush the back of the scorpion as well as the tail sides. Um, this part of the scorpion is probably going to stay that teal color until we get up to the top and then we'll have that dry brush. Because uh, from the image I see, the underneath of the scorpion is very pale and almost translucent. Like, this would have been a cool one to uh, mimic translucent-wise. And then I'm going to cover the whole thing in flesh wash, just to give it kind of that more sandy look. Uh, but yeah, that is enough chit-chat. Let's go over the model, actually. That's not enough chit-chat. I want to go over the model a little bit more. Just so you guys can see it in all of its gray primed glory. Again, uh, EC3D designs are super awesome. Everything is non-supported uh, and it doesn't need supports. So it just prints from the base up. Uh, the only thing here is the tail. I think from about here to the tip, that is a separate piece that prints by itself, but still not supported. So yeah, go check them out on my mini factory. Link will be uh, down there. Now, let's get to paint. Oh. 
Alright everybody, we are finished with the Scorpion and the Beetle. So, uh, I've got the Scorpion, woo, it's thundering, I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but it's, it's thundering outside. Uh, so I'm going to try and do this quick in case the power decides to go out. <laughs> uh, but here we go, here's the Scorpion. Um, I really love how it turned out, it turned out dirty, it turned out, it turned out like a creature you would see coming out of the sand to sting you and pinch you and uh, we got the bulb turned out nice dark red brown um, I really love cold bold red because it is a really nice red brown and it has been phenomenal for this desert painting um, with wash you can see the different shades of red especially right there like so what I did with this and what I did with all the rock pieces um, is I just basically made a wash out of the cold bold red slapped it on let it run down that was it. Uh, so that turned out amazing. I love how the dry brush turned out. And I screwed up and I put on the flesh wash while the dry brush was still a little wet. And then it made it like more dirty. And I'm like, nope, I didn't screw up. So love that. I love this scorpion so much. Um, I really think it matches the desert scorpion. Um, I can't think of the name of that. I don't think I have it pulled up anymore, unfortunately. Uh, no, I do not. It's a South South Indian, some sort of Indian scorpion. I will say that uh, is what I based on. In case you guys want to go look up that. So enough about the scorpion. But yeah, black eyes, little black pincers. The, the pincer buttons. <laughs> so set him right there. Um, 
grab the beetles. Here are the beetles. So, uh, kind of hard to tell. See it really good on the taller one, but their legs and pincers are a different shade of brown. Uh, I did go ahead and use a uh, Reaper with the same brown because I thought that was darker than the Owlbear brown. Plus, uh, this does have the red wash over it. You can see it really good down in the cracks. But yeah, they turned out really well. Um, they were a mixture of Army Painter, Glitter Green, and Full Chrome. I think I talked about that, but yeah, it turned out super well. Um, they're just little tiny things. They're not as cool as the vultures. Uh, they do have, you know, four of them. And I thought about doing the beetles different colors, but I was like, no, uh, we're just going to go off a emerald scarab look because it's pretty and cool and it fits my theme of facing off creatures. So have these two got the army of vultures and the snake and that completes our desert creatures again these are all pc 3d design uh got on my mini factory link will be down there below yeah that's gonna wrap this one up i hope you all enjoyed it and i will see you next time Peace.